Christine, I will always be a Christian first and a vampire second. But many people feel, and you yourself have said, Reverend Newland, those two things are incompatible. Well, I'm happy to say that they are not. I still talk to God every night. I talk to him this evening, as a matter of fact, and I'm here to tell you, Jesus loves vampires. I mean, anyone who has been dead for three days knows where we're coming from. And I think that there are good Christians out there who would be willing to set aside childish loathing to oh, favor of universal love. I used to believe that I had found the light, but I realized that I've only just now found God's true light in the darkness. It's ironic. And the Fellowship of the Sun? I'm no longer associated with the Fellowship, nor might I add any hate group, okay? All vampires want is to coexist peacefully with humans. And if you take nothing else away from this interview, you need to understand that. Vampires are not the enemy. We, we are God's creatures just like you. And all we want on this small, small planet is peaceful coexistence. Speaking of coexistence, is there anyone special in your life? Let's just say that, yes, there is someone. Um, and she makes me very happy. That was a bit of a gotcha question, wasn't it? I, 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 Do you remember giving a speeding ticket to Judge Clemens, boy? He's doing 80 in a school zone. No shit. Flip me off. Hey. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm gonna need you to expunge it. Excuse me? Now, I had a talk with the judge. We're gonna let him off with a warning. A warning? He almost killed a kid. Could you just take care of it, please? Whatever you say, sir. Hey, watch the attitude. Every fiber of our being. I'm watching that. 